guys, it's Andy, and today what we're going to be doing is we're, I'm going to be showing you a custom spaceship that I built, a custom little speeder out of Lego that I built. Basically, I just took pieces of different sets and I put them all together. If you see, I got the Stormtrooper there. I'm going to take that out for now. Just a normal Stormtrooper. You can make different pilot Stormtroopers or pilots and stuff like that if you want. Um, or you can even make it a rebel ship if you want. I recommend Imperial if you're going to use this grayish color because um, they're more robotic um, and technological while the Rebellion has, they have these colors. Their colors are more natural. They have more natural um, clothing. Like they have actual like wool clothing. They don't have like plastic or metal. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> um, so basically if you see here, this is the little front of the ship right there, um, you can, this is a, the arch, cause you know how most ships have the arch in front, um, unless it's like a TIE fighter, cause like, this is like the X-wing fronts, um, but there's other ships that, and then like, there's other ships that don't like the TIE fighters and stuff, but, and then there's also, if you look, Underneath this thing, if you look underneath, there's actually a block there, but you can take that out if you want. It's just going to look a little different. It's going to look like that. To be honest, I would put this there. I would put it here because it gives it a little more of support in the front. And yeah, um, another thing that you could add. This is totally custom. Um, is these missiles? These are supposed to be missiles here. Um, and if I take this seat off, they move. They move a little bit, but the seat is there so that they don't move around. Because otherwise, it will look weird. Because you got missiles falling out of their barrel and stuff. But I don't want that. So yeah. Um, another thing. Uh, oh yeah, these things. Uh, the and uh, the ending that uh, fell off. Um, that will happen to Lego sets, especially custom ones, because they weren't planned out by professional people that um, know how to keep it supported. Um, but anyways, right here, I don't think this is a Lego piece. I think this is another brand like Creo, maybe Mega Blocks or something. Um, these are Lego. These dots right here, those are Lego. Um, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, not entirely sure, but, um, and if you look here, um, I got little rings there, um, right next to the missiles, um, then also this, if you want to know what this piece is, um, this is supposed to be an engine, and I, ha I haven't put any guns on it at all yet, um, I haven't put any guns other than the missiles, um, but I could probably do that, maybe do a, like a, another thing of it, but, yeah, so, this is, and then, oh, by the way, this is the seat, um, this right here, this is the back of the chair, I thought that would be cool to add, cause, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, I thought it would be cool to add because um, it's it's different. It's like if you look at X-wing things, they just have the back of the ship as their back. They don't really have like like a back and then open space. Um, but I thought that would be cool. Oh, by the way, this is only a one-person seater. I mean, you could probably yeah, you could fit two people. Another stormtrooper. Like you can't fit another person because their arms. Um, but like, of course, if you take off their arms, they could probably fit in there. Um, crap! I just ripped it off. Let me just. Uh, um. Right there. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically it. Um. Let me, think, let me look. Oh. This, uh, this, I made it look a little more, um, like, custom, like, you know how the, um, the Millennium Falcon is very insymmetrical, 
it's more of a, uh, it's more of a type of thing, like, the Millennium Falcon is actually a type of ship that there's multiple of, but it's uh, something, it's a type of freighter, actually, but, um, yeah, basically, they just switched the type of hyperdrive or something, and then that made it custom, same with this, kind of, um, but I made it look a little, like, homemade by adding this, this thing right here, because it's not on both sides, just like a little piece of metal, because you know how they look like that sometimes, um, let me look anywhere else, oh, yeah, right here, these studs right here, um, there are two levels, and there's two on each side, and the pieces that you'll probably need are very rare, this is just, I just pulled out a bunch of pieces, and I because I have like big drawers of Legos, I could probably just show you right now. Um, I got I got huge drawers. I just got huge drawers of Legos. Um, uh, huge drawers. Um, like I've got this. Can you see that? I got this. There's another drawer down here, and there's a drawer that goes here. Where is that? Probably in, that, in my closet somewhere, but there's a drawer here, and there's a drawer here, and there's a drawer here, and they're just filled with Legos. It's really cool. But anyways, let's go back. Let's us, let us go back to what we were talking about. But basically, how I made that was literally just, um, just taking apart a ship. I just found, like, a bunch of scrap pieces. Um, and I basically just put something together with it. Just go. Uh, so basically, that's about it. Let me look. Oh, recommend doing stormtroopers for this, as I said before. Um, and whatever you do, try to get them have the clone heads. Because if you get, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but. It looks a lot better because if you look at the back of their neck, it's yellow. It looks like they literally like peed on their head or something. It looks like a Simpsons character, uh, or they got like super tan on their neck. But like, but yeah, I mean, I have this for this guy because I ran out of heads. Um. Um. So yeah, that's about it, guys. So we'll see you guys in another video. Um. I hope you guys like this um custom ship speeder thing. Um. If you guys want to see more of these types of videos, then let me know. Um, I will be doing some theory videos, like like I did that, um, like what if uh, Zootopia and um, See Where Other Pets are related. So I'll probably do some Star Wars things with that, like what if Darth Maul killed Obi Wan. I will be doing a video on that because um, I think that would be cool. That would be that would be a pretty cool thing, a pretty cool fan fiction. I've also got another fan fiction going um, about a stormtrooper. Um, it's not a theory or anything, it's just a story. Um, so yeah, that's about it. We'll see you guys in another video. Hope you guys like this. We'll see you guys in another video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video. Comment down below. That is really important because I want you guys to see, I want you guys to tell me what you guys like on this channel so that I can do more of it. So that I can just, so I can please my viewers. Um, so yeah, that's about it. We'll see you guys in another video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, uh, give the thumbs up for this little guy here. I'll get, name him T-R-8-R. Uh, Trader, get it? Trader, I mean, you get the joke. Because um, T-R-A-R, trait, trait, tr, eight, er. Okay, so... <laughs> Um, so yeah, we'll see you guys in another video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like, comment, do all that stuff. Make sure you guys go on uh, Google Plus. Follow me on there. Make sure you guys go on Patreon and support me with my with some money so that I can pay for so that I can pay for video games and like Xbox Live Gold and stuff. Um, so that I can like produce more things and basically I, we have a lot of fun. On, I have a lot of fun on this channel. I hope you guys too. Um, but yeah. That's about it. Um, so we'll see you guys in another video. Bye.